So you're stretching your muscle um, for a full stretch, but you're not holding it in that static position. What's up? Kini ko hanyaku desu. Sa kyo wa trainingu zengo de no stretch no tsukai wake. Mite ikimashou. Training zengo ni stretch okonatte imasu ka? Boku wa shurui to mokteki ga chigao stretch o okonatte imasu. まずはジョセフさんが概要について話をしてくれています後半ではより砕いた話や他の目的について話をしています最後まで見ていってくださいではジョセフさんの話を聞いていきましょうどうぞ What's up guys? Joseph Rakic here from josephrakicfitness.com Now today、um, I just finished my workout and I thought I'll do some Q&A videos for you guys So today the question of the day it comes from my Facebook fitness page Now, this question comes from Pana Jot Kua. Now, she asks, Can you please make a video on stretching before and after your workout? Yes, I can, and here it is. So, stretching, if you want to stretch before your workout, you should be doing dynamic stretching. So, dynamic stretching is when you do the stretch, but you do not hold,、um, you do not hold that stretch. So, for an example, if you try to stretch out your chest and you're doing dynamic stretching, it will just be like this. So, you're stretching your muscle、um, for a full stretch, but you're not holding it in that static position. Then, after your workout, what you want to do is do static stretching. Now, static stretching is when you hold the stretch. So, for example, if I was stretching my chest, I'd be up against the wall and I'd turn my body away from the wall. And that'd be stretching the entire pectoral muscle there. And I'd hold that for about 20, maybe 30 seconds. So, the reason why you don't want to do static stretching pre workout is because it actually、um, lowers your performance. So, you get less, of a,、um, less performance when you're training with the weights and all that.、Um, dynamic stretching, on the other hand, though, has been proven to increase your performance in the gym.、Um, however, static stretching, even though it is not good for performance based, it is very beneficial for the recovery of muscle、um, and allowing that blood flow into the muscle so you can get more nutrients into the muscle. That's why. If you're going to stretch, you should do dynamic stretching pre workout and your static stretching post workout. Anyway, I hope that cleared it up for you.、Uh, more QA videos coming soon, so make sure you subscribe to my channel because new videos every single day. So, I got this to the show. The training of my new one is the stretch. The training of my new one is the stretch. So, I'm going to say that. 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 胸に対しては動的ストレッチを行ってパフォーマンスを上げるそれと同時に肩関節の可動域改善のための静的ストレッチや筋膜リリースを行うそしてトレーニング後には疲れている対象筋の大胸筋を静的ストレッチしてあげるこれが最大限胸のトレーニングの質を高めるためのストレッチの使い方かなと思いますいくら高重量が扱えたとしても大胸筋をうまく使えていなければうまく大胸筋は肥大しないですよねなのでこういったストレッチの使い方が大事かと思いますみんなはどう思いますかまたどんなストレッチの使い方をしていますかコメント欄で教えてください最後まで見ていただいてありがとうございます感想や動画のリクエストチャンネル登録お待ちしていますではまた Don't hesitate to call me back. Cause I won't.